everyone, it's Mikhail. So today I'm going to be filming a makeup starter kit. So as you can probably see, I'm in a different location in front of one of my doors in my room. <laughs> Random. But I decided to change location just because I want to see which area of my room has better lighting. Before I get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Charlie's playing with one of his toys. I'm really sorry. He literally interrupts every video and yeah let's pretty much just get straight into the video i'm going to be talking about makeup that i think is essential for beginners or essential you need to have these items if you want to do a full face kind of thing um or like what makeup is most important for doing your makeup if you know what i mean so for example a beauty product that probably isn't essential is probably highlighter because you can look bomb without highlighter. Highlighter just kind of adds that extra touch so don't expect highlighter in this video. I love highlighter, I'm wearing it now. If you want to get highlighter I would totally recommend it because I love highlighter so much. So yeah. So I'm going to start off with a thing that I first start with when I do my makeup. It is the Designer Brands Lightweight Oil Free Foundation in the colour Nude Beige. This is vegan, it's cruelty free, it's such a great product. Any foundation that is vegan and cruelty free I would recommend. Foundation is a great starting base, like it's great for beginners. Even if you don't want to get foundation, just get BB cream that's vegan and cruelty free and you're set pretty much. This is the one that I use as you can see. I need to get a real refill or I need to get more. So this foundation is oil free and it also has an SPS of 50. So that's always a plus. The next product I don't believe is a must, but if you want to add it in, I would totally recommend it. I use my e.l.f. concealer in the colour Fair. I'm currently wearing this product as well on my face. If you want to use concealer, by all means go use it if you're wanting to buy your first lot of makeup. Yeah, concealer's great. However, you do not need concealer. The next product is another product by e.l.f. It is the e.l.f. Pressed powder. This is another one of the most important products that I would recommend because you cannot wear foundation and not set it because that is just so cringy to me and I don't know how people can do that because I hate the way a product, a wet product feels on my face if it hasn't been set. Yeah, this is an ivory. All of e.l.f. products in Australia, I don't know about any other place is cruelty free and vegan. I actually contacted Elf Australia myself and they said that none of their products except for one brush contains an animal ingredient. But yeah, this is one of the most important products ever. Do not not set your face pretty much. So the next product is not a must, but if you do not have dark eyebrows like myself, like literally my eyebrows are pretty much translucent, like no joke, translucent in the sun, no eyebrows pretty much. <laughs> I would recommend a brow product. I do not do my brows that dark so as you can see eyebrows are pretty natural. This is probably the darkest I have them actually. I accidentally went a bit too dark but I have an eyebrow routine on my channel so if you want to go check that out would recommend that so you know exactly how I do my brows. They haven't changed. I filmed that video like over a month ago. So yeah this is a duo eyebrow thing. It's very blunt. I need to charge it and that's my bird if you wanted to know. This also comes with a sharpener but it also comes with a lifting thingy majiggy. I don't really use that because it is a pink undertone and I do not have pink skin at all. So yeah, if you've already got like near caterpillar eyebrows, you do not need a brow product because your eyebrows probably already look amazing. <laughs> when I say caterpillar, it kind of sounds like an insult, but it's not, trust me, <laughs> considering I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> the next product is also not a must, but I love bronzer. And I feel like everyone loves bronzer. I would recommend bronzer to anyone who wants it. <laughs> it's kind of the same um, as the concealer situation. You don't need it, but you might just want it. You know what I mean? And there's no harm in having it. So this is the Inica Loose Mineral Bronzer in Sunkissed. This is vegan and cruelty free. This is the only product that is quite expensive. You can find a cheap vegan cruelty free bronzer pretty easily. Elf has one. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Stralis has one as well. This has a red undertone, so if you don't like the readiness of a bronzer, then I wouldn't recommend this. And then the very last product is one of those products that are just a must, and it is mascara. Because you cannot put on your foundation and not wear something on your eyes. It just doesn't look right. If you're wearing like BB cream 
or like a very lightweight foundation where it doesn't look bad. It just enhances your natural features. But I would recommend mascara. And if you don't want to look like you're wearing mascara, go for a brown mascara. I think e.l.f. has a brown mascara. Like, they're pretty easy to find generally. So, yeah, this is just literally everything has rubbed off on this. So, <laughs> I can't remember what it is. I think it's the e.l.f. I don't, I can't remember, but I've done a review on it on my channel. So this is the mascara that I use. I'm wearing it at the moment. I don't go heavy on my mascara. I don't go heavy with any of my makeup just because if I do, my boyfriend will probably arc up. And I don't like the way it looks on me anyway, so. So that pretty much concludes this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you let me know and I will for sure do that for you. And yeah, that pretty much concludes this video and I'm going to go now. Bye. Try to